Well, a rough morning for drivers on the Southwest Freeway. A crash on the side streets sent power lines onto the main lanes of the freeway. So this is what the traffic looked like earlier this morning. Look at this. Clearly a huge headache for drivers. For more on how this all happened, let's go to ABC 13 reporter Erica Simon. She is live from the spot where this all started. And we know, Erica, they're calling it a chain reaction of events. That's right, Mel. Chain reaction, big mess. Those are all good words to describe what happened here behind us this morning. I'm going to get out of the way and show you the aftermath of what started all of this. Crews are out here trying to fix the power pole and lines that took a hit this morning about 8 a.m. According to an HPD officer who witnessed the crash, a car ran a red light and then slammed an SUV into the power pole. Let's show you some video to show you just how bad the collision was and how banged up everything was. Houston Fire Department had to extract everyone out and transport them to the hospital. The SUV that hit the power pole caused a mini explosion on impact and forced the lines that ran out of it to sag. A trash truck ran into one of those lines that runs across the Southwest Freeway and got tangled up in it. Sky I-13 was able to capture that. That forced a chain reaction crash of vehicles on the freeway, which caused a major traffic backup in the middle of the rush hour commute. The southbound lanes had to be closed for hours while crews tried to secure the lines and remove them properly. The fire department says the truck driver had a close call. They felt the ones that were wrapped around the garbage truck were still alive. Something like that, you remain in the vehicle as long as you're not grounded, such as touching the vehicle and then stepping out onto the ground would cause the electrocution. Stay in the vehicle till the power lines were de-energized. Well, as you can imagine, in the heat of the moment like that, some people may not know to stay in their truck, right, or stay in their vehicle. I'm glad the fire department said that because your initial reaction could be to get away from the situation. But thankfully, that driver, we're told, did what he was instructed to do by crews and stayed safe until they could get the lines under control and de-energized. So we're told, in addition to the people here in this crash that had to be taken to the hospital, the truck driver and a number of people involved in a crash up on the freeway had to be taken to the hospital as well. So we're talking at least six, seven, eight people. Um, we don't know any of their conditions, but at this point, we're told everybody is alive. That is the great news and something we can rejoice about. A bad spot, a lot of people without power. As of about an hour ago, Centerpoint says about 1,500 customers were without power. As you can see, a lot of people out here, they're going to be working around the clock, trying to restore the damaged lines, repair what they can, and get people back up and going. Mel, live in Southwest Houston, Erica Simon, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. What a crazy morning, Erica, but glad to hear no one was seriously hurt. Thank you so much for that.